Having just left the railway station, I'm in one of the little parks in Hebden Bridge. Most of the heavy snow of yesterday is still hanging around. Um, I'm hoping to get some blue skies and some good weather. In the right conditions, Hebden Bridge can take on quite a Swiss Alpine look. It's not quite there today, but let's walk on this compacted snow for a little while. We're heading towards Hebden Bridge Skate Park, after which I'll take to the canal, follow that for a mile or two, and then strike up towards Studley Pike, which may have the appearance of a Chamonix Aiguille today. Here's hoping. Some quite uh, naughty icy patches on here where we've had a little bit of freeze thaw. That's the first part of canal there that's thawed. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Um, about a quarter past eleven now, the temperature's sitting around zero or minus one. And we've saw earlier out there are, well the canal's more or less frozen and it's quite surprising that even where the, the moorings are, the moored boats, the mooring ropes are frozen hard, the water around the boats is frozen hard. It's been a keen frost. I think I saw on last night's weather about um, minus five for this area and uh, seeing seeing the morning after I think that's probably about right I'm just having to keep an eye open underfoot at the moment it's just compacted snow which is not too bad for walking on it's occasionally there are these little icy parts that I've got to be look out for I'm still outside of the canal I'm almost level with Eastwood, at which point I will strike up. Uh, you can see a metal fence there on my right, which is uh, the boundary to the old Eastwood water treatment works. I think it's no longer in use. Well, I'm not sure. It's too covered in snow today to have a look anyway, but uh, getting a few flakes dropping off the trees there. But yeah, soon it's the end of the flat stuff and a, a nice little winding climb through the woods. Plodding away through the woods. Haven't gained an awful lot of height yet. The, the ground has a little bit of give. So I can guess that in these sheltered areas, looking at the thermometer again, it's somewhere around zero. Maybe even slightly above. There's lots of powdery snow falling off the trees, which makes it feel like it's snowing, but that's not the case yet. There is a forecast of snow for this afternoon, maybe sometime between two and three. But uh, that is still some way in the future. My first glimpse of Studley Pike Obelisk. I've broken out of the woodland cover and again the temperature is around zero but there's a little bit of a westerly wind that on exposed skin, i.e. my hands operating this smartphone, um, I can certainly feel the chill. Let's have a quick look around. In that direction it's a great rock. That's the, the lines, and that's roughly the direction that I've come from, which is on the other side of that hill.
panning towards the north, the infamous Gaddings Dam is on the hilltop in the centre of the picture. That's the highest beach possibly in the country. We got the sandy stretch of, uh, we can call it beach, by an old dam originally built for the cotton mills. But panning on to today's main event, what do we have? Ahead, and I'll tilt the camera, we have Studley Pike and a snowy looking, let's call it the West Face, that sounds good. The West Face of Studley Pike. There's a little bit of mist, kind of a, not quite a fog, not quite a mist, and there's a little bit of sort of precipitation on that, I think. But yeah, here we go, Studley Pike. There's the stairway. And I've got it to myself. time for some coffee. A snacket and then out with the walking poles to head back to Hebden Bridge. So it's 12.40. The thermometer is still registering zero. I would imagine a few hours ago it was significantly colder than that but the sun's back again. You can see the obelisk behind me there. I'm just going to plod down to Hebden Bridge now. I would imagine in these conditions it, it'll take me an hour and a quarter or something. I'm not sure how icy it's going to be on the uh, on the steeper parts. But uh, yeah, there's the obelisk. This is the second obelisk. There was an original um, monument built after the what they thought was the end of the Napoleonic Wars uh, at the time of Bonaparte's first exile to Elbe. But he came back, <laughs> and I assume they had to stop building the, the Victory Monument. Uh, there was the big Waterloo uh, victory for the coalition against Bonaparte's forces. And I think at that point, when he was tried and exiled to, to, uh, to the Mid-Atlantic, they could crack on and build the, uh, build the rest of the monument. But the, the really sort of odd coincidence is that this monument was destroyed, I believe, by lightning or a, a, a big storm at least, but possibly lightning too. So the original was destroyed just on the eve of the Crimean War beginning, when uh, Britain, France and Turkey were all about to sort of join forces and fight the, fight the Russian Empire. So the, I, I believe the story goes that the, the Russian ambassador left London, uh, which was a sort of precursor to, to the outbreak of true hostilities and Britain entering the conflict and um, the monument the monument fell so this one was um, built I think around 1856 1857 after the the victory for uh, Britain France Turkey over Russia in the Crimea so it has this odd connection with with war I, I had a good look at the pointing uh, and it seems to be in good shape so we should be okay for the for the next year or so You can see Studley and the sign indicating the Pennine Way and the Pennine Bridle Way. Hepton Bridge and Hepton Stall lie it's just a little bit too much mist at the moment, but it lies in that sort of dark area. On a clearer day, you could see Hepton Stall Church Tower. It's going to be difficult to make that out in the video, I think. I take the right turn. It's um, almost one o'clock. Let's 
It's just taking me past the old chamber, as it's called, where people camp with a, a rather scenic sort of hilltop site. At least they do in uh, slightly warmer conditions. Just leaving 1.35, which is about 2 hours 35 from when I set off, I think. And I'm probably five minutes from Hebden Bridge Railway Station. You can see behind me, I'm on a, I'm on a concrete road now. It's actually quite slippy still in places. I, I think the temperature's on the positive side of zero, let's say one or two. But uh, still there are some tricky patches on this kind of a surface. But I think overall, it's been a, been a very uh, interesting walk with some nice scenery and uh, some, some f for what I look upon as my, my backyard, my local patch, uh, it's nice to see it in those early winter conditions um, and especially on a Monday, it's been so quiet, so that's another bonus. I think altogether for the, for the entire walk I've seen about three, three other people once I left the canal to uh, jump in the grass verge there as a four-wheel drive was making its way up this slippery concrete road. Uh, yeah, so I think I've almost almost reached the station and uh, time to sort of sign off and say from, from the Aguida Studley Pike and its fearsome west face, um, it's goodbye for now and see you next time.